Hey guys, what is up? Joe here, back at it again with another travel video and today I am gonna teach you how to explore the surfing capital of the Philippines, Siergao. Alright, let's go! Our first stop in our trip is to check out Cloud 9. This is where you can see one of the best waves in the Philippines. For non-surfers, Cloud 9 has a wooden boardwalk and a three-story tower where guests can get a viewpoint of the beach, waves, and the Pacific Ocean. Entrance fee is only 50 pesos. Coconut Farm View Deck. Definitely one of the Instagram-worthy spots and there are no entrance fee here. This location is a plantation full of coconuts. I can't be more specific than to show you how vast this area is like. Maasin River. This is a river bank where you can find the famous bent coconut tree at Shergao. Not only you can swing around like a monkey, but you can also take a serene river tour to a location where you can have a relaxing dip. Entrance fee to this place is 20 pesos per person and 500 pesos for renting a boat, good for three packs. Tangyaban Cave. Before entering this attraction, which has a 70 pesos entrance fee, you should know that the water inside is chest deep. I suggest leaving your valuables and expensive gadgets behind. Bring a waterproof camera with a strong LED light because the cave is really dark. Lastly, wear hiking sandals or wet shoes. So sometimes you might lose your balance. Rest in peace, my Havayanas. Now it's time to hop in a boat at Del Carmen Port. My friend suggested we go to a location that is off the tourist radar. This place is called Kauhagan Island. It is an isolated strip of land which features a lot of coconut trees and a sandbar. I was amazed that not a lot of people were in the area. It is a highly recommended place before you head to Sugba Lagoon. For a highly recommended tourist spot, this place is really a peaceful sanctuary. This 4,000 hectare location featuring the following highlights, paddleboarding, kayaking, balsa, and of course, a high diving board to jump off from. Now that we're done doing the land tour here at Shergao, it's time to get wet and to explore the Tri Islands and Sohotun Cove. One of my favorite adventures is visiting Sohotan Cove National Park at Bukas Grande Island. Our first stop for this trip is to explore Hagukan Cave. This is not your typical cave that you can just stroll around. According to my guide, you have to hold your breath for 7 seconds and he will guide you by diving to the entrance. Once in the inside, you will be greeted by a beautiful environment. The water produces a greenish bioluminescent glow which provides the natural ambience and lights up the dim cave. By far, this is my favorite cave that I have ever explored. Magkukuob Cave This features another waste level cave to explore inside. To exit the cave, you can either go through the very steep path or take a short plunge to make things faster if you have the adrenaline to do so. It's your choice. After this trip, we rent out a paddleboard to visit the Stingless Jellyfish Sanctuary. It will take you around 20 minutes to head to the area. And you can choose to help paddle so you can reach the destination faster. The Stingless Jellyfish are usually a lot during April or May summer season. You can touch these gentle features but never, ever lift them out from the water. After our trip to Bucos Grande, we went back to our boat and ventured a two-hour travel to the Tri Islands. Our first stop is to visit the Naked Island. The name originated on the fact that the island is bare, basically. And no, please don't go naked on this island. Prepare to be hydrated and put on sunblock because you have nowhere else to hide from the sun. Nearby the area is Dako Island. This is the biggest island of the three. The place is more commercialized and there are huts that you can rent out. 
The beach is wide enough to do different beach activities such as beach volleyball or frisbee. We also had our late lunch in this island. Awesome preparation. Now my favorite island of the three is Guyam Island. When I think of this island, I think of tropical paradise. This is the smallest island that we've gone so far. The place is pretty chill. It's much more rocky on some parts. However, if you've timed your travel during sunset, you will not be disappointed. All right, guys, this ends my special video about Shergao. I do hope you like it. And if you want to explore this beautiful island, make sure to always be a responsible traveler. Leave nothing but footprints, take nothing but pictures, and kill nothing but time. This is Joe Serrano signing out. And as always, I will see you in my next vlog venture. See you guys.